Hi, I'm Don Sweeting, president of Colorado Christian University. The week between Palm Sunday and Easter has been given many names. Great Week, Passion Week, Holy Week. It's been called by some the most profound week in the history of humanity. Christians refer to it as the week that shook the world. More important than the day man stepped on the moon. More important than when the 13 colonies declared their independence. More important than when the Berlin Wall fell and communism collapsed. Because it was on this week that Jesus died and rose again. The New Testament itself highlights the very importance of this season. One third of the Gospels focus on this week. One third of Jesus' works. One third of his words. The New Testament slows down and it's as if God himself is telling us to slow down and focus here. Paul summarizes these climactic events in 1 Corinthians 15. He writes, Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And then he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared also to me. The brilliant musician J.S. Bach, in his chorale, The St. John Passion, penned these lines. He wrote, how and why our Savior died, we must ponder truly. So we hope you'll take time in the coming week to ponder deeply the things that God in Christ has done for you, that you'll take time to worship at your church and attend the services, that you'll take extra time in personal devotion to understand the atonement and the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, there's a lot of excitement on the campus of Colorado Christian University these days, not just because it's Easter season and springtime and the daffodils are blooming everywhere, but because we're about to start another building, a new residential building for students. We're entering yet another year of record enrollments. And most of all, we have the privilege of building students who will be educated with competence, character, and faith, Christ-centered faith. So I wanna thank you at the beginning of this season for helping us, for encouraging us, for praying for us, for supporting us in many different ways for your generous giving. And from all of us at Colorado Christian University, we wish you a blessed and holy Easter season.